Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of the Beauty Berserker with me, Matt. Having a, hope you're all having a happy, crappy Monday out there. I hate Mondays. There's nothing worse because, especially as it's my last day off before I'm back to work tomorrow. So I thought I'd get another review in for you guys. And a huge, massive, massive thank you from me to each and every one of you guys out there that's liking my videos, subscribe to my channel, enjoying what I'm doing and commenting on my videos. Because this is not about me, okay? This is about small brands, small companies, small businesses, individuals, families, etc. that are making some amazing products. This is nothing to do with huge, massive brands and stuff like that because particularly myself, I don't really like huge, massive brands because they kind of like, because they're up on this status uh, up here, they've got millions that they can throw into marketing, promoting and advertising their products. They've kind of almost now got to the point that their name sells their products. No matter whatever they seem to pump out, there will be people out there that buy them, whether it's massive sports brands, clothing brands and stuff like that, beard brands and stuff like that out there. So I'm trying to purely help and support the smaller brands out there by showing you guys that there is an alternative. And I'm finding that often the alternative is a lot, lot better than the actual bigger brands out there personal opinion. Now with all the reviews that I do, I'm not affiliated to any of the brands. Um, basically I'm completely unbiased and everything I do is my own honest opinion. All the products that come through I've used so it's not just an unboxing. I'm not particularly keen on watching unboxing videos because what's the point in unboxing it, having a quick smell of it and going yeah it looks really nice. If you haven't used it you don't actually know what the product's like or anything like that. But that's just personal preference. Now before we start, um, I was almost nearly tempted uh, to kind of like uh, close down my channel and Instagram a couple of days ago because I'm putting so much time and effort into doing this and everything. I'm literally sending out sort of 20, 30 messages per day to brands and stuff like that about reviews and helping and stuff like that and small brands and everything and I was kind of almost getting despondent if you know what I mean but I'm trying my hardest I mean yeah if you want flashy videos with stuff like that intros and outros and all these mad graphics and everything going on then there are a shed ton of them out there I've literally got my little iPad and I kind of got a bit despondent and I was chatting to my wife and she was like well, it's up to you, do what you want to do and everything. And it kind of got to that stage of like, well, do I carry on? Because I like to say, trying to get products into review now is literally becoming a pain in the backside and everything. But for the time being, I'm going to see how it goes over the next month. Um, and I do appreciate everyone's support and everything out there. I don't want to close this down on my Instagram because it's never been about me. It's always been about literally doing what I can to try and help other sort of people out there and stuff like that. But hey, I'm going to plod on for the next month, see how it goes. But I'll keep you posted on that anyway. But we have a review today. And this, I've done quite a number of reviews, bless him, for Steve over at Barber's Bay. And here's what I can only describe as kind of like the Willy Wonka of the beard and sort of like uh, men's grooming sort of community. He makes everything. Perfume, beard oils, beard balms, aftershaves, you name it, he'll pretty much make it. And hair products and stuff like that. And he's always tinkering. He's always messaging me, which is really nice. And I love speaking to him about products he's bringing out. What do I think to this design of the tin? What do I think to that product? Do you think it would be good and stuff like that? And it's so nice to kind of see how much he cares about the products that he makes and everything. And he sent through another couple of products uh, for me to have a look at. And like I say, this is completely unbiased. Um, I'm not biased in any way, sent or, uh, sense in any sense at all. So all my reviews are honest. As per usual, I'll be putting links down below for Barber's Bay. So please go check him out and support him if, if you can. So he is sent through a perfume 
and a beard balm to have a look at, see what I think of, and to kind of give you guys my opinions of them. So first of all, we'll start with the beard balm. Now, comes in a little tin like this. The product itself is a whiskey uh, kind of scent to it, which is very nice. It's quite a mature adult scent. Um, it's not kind of a kiddie sort of scent. If you, it's quite a sophisticated scent uh, to it. The packaging is nice, and with all his labels, he's kind of constantly reinventing them and doing different styles. Um, I love some of the labels that he's got out at the moment, his uh, sort of Wild West cowboy theme stuff. Um, liking the labels also that he's doing for the retro American sort of style and the tattoo and biking and Route 66 and stuff like that, which is very nice. So this is what the label looks like. Age 12 years, Scotch whiskey and beard balm. Now this is a certified organic product, which is nice. As with all products that you put on your skin, beard, hair, face, pretty much everything in life, always do a test patch first, because no matter if it's all natural and organic and everything, it doesn't mean that you can't still have an allergy for it. So it's always recommended to test the spot for at least 24 hours first before using it on your face in case you come up with any red lumps, bumps, um, allergies and stuff like that. Last thing you want to do is smother your face in stuff and then suddenly break out and everything. So it's always recommended to test it. Now, the thing that I like as well with the products that Barber's Bay make is they're very minimalistic in uh, the ingredients. There's not loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. Um, literally, the ingredients that he uses in this is coconut oil, beeswax, vitamin E and essential oils which is nice because you don't want too much stuff and chemicals and sort of general bits and pieces in there. And like I say, it's certified organic, which is great. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I have used this. It's got a very, it's almost a dry scent whiskey. If you've ever had whiskey before, it's not uh, a kind of sweet scent. It's quite uh, a sweet taste. It's a dry taste. And this has got a very dry whiskey scent to it. Now I have used this. It's definitely whiskey. And you don't need much. I've got it actually, believe it or not, in my beard this morning. A beautiful, clean, almost slightly cologne sort of scent. But it's definitely whiskey. And it's a really nice smell. I, I haven't really found many um, alcoholic sorts of scents out there, if you know what I mean. And this is very nice. It's a very mature scent. Um, I really like that. And there you go. It's, uh, that's what it looks like itself. There's just the right amount of beeswax in there for a little bit of hold to keep those unruly hairs out of the way. I do work in a hot, sweaty, sticky environment, like I've said in all my videos. The scent is lasting on this for a good two and a half, maybe three hours at a push. But it, it's such a nice scent. It's not a warming scent because, as you know, whiskey is not a kind of warming, it's a warming drink to drink, don't get me wrong, but it's not a warming scent like a brandy or a rum or something like that, which has sweet notes to it. This has more of a dry whiskey scent to it. And it definitely is whiskey. It's a lovely product. And the price that he's charging on this is literally nine pound, which in my book is no money at all because let's face it when you do use this you're not particularly using much literally for a beard my length scrape a bit off i'm literally using that which if i transfer it to my hand that you can actually see is literally about that much and that does my entire beard so depending on whether you've got long beard short beard medium sized beard will depend on what you use so a tin like this is going to last a long long while and it's great stuff. All of these products that I've noticed and that I have reviewed, but I say I'm not biased whatsoever, um, are extremely well made and I love what he does and I do love the way that he's always tinkering and stuff like that. And also he's sent through another product for me to have a look at, which is a perfume. Now, I have done a couple of reviews on his perfumes before. Um, I've done one called Gigi. 
which was a female perfume. I've also uh, done one of the men's aftershaves. And this is one, because my wife liked the Gigi so much, she sent through, we bought actually, a bottle to have a look at to see about one of his other scents, which was released just before Christmas of last year, which is White Musk and Oud. Now, before we start, as you can see, the wife likes this. We've had it a couple of months and she's kind of replaced her top end um, perfumes that she does use. I'm not going to say any names, we're going to be advertising to, but the larger perfume brands and stuff like that. Um, and she loves it. As you can see, that is literally what she's got left after a couple of months. Um, bottles are nice, a uh, glass bottle. And the cool thing with this is you can order refills and everything, refill it up with perfume. He does smaller sizes as well, so the handy. She has actually decanted some of this into a smaller bottle that she had that she keeps it in a handbag for work and everything. And his perfumes are very, very good. I've heard recently has bought out one as well, a uh, kind of Wild West themed one that he's doing a limited run of 50s, which would be interesting to see what that's like. And to be honest, for the big bottle like this, you're literally paying 36 quid and believe it or not it's on sale at the moment it's 18 quid my mum actually likes the smell of it as well she came over a few days ago and she had a sniff and she was like oh that's nice where'd you get that from so she's interested in getting some as well and my wife's kind of like going between the two the Gigi which is a lighter summery sort of scent to it whereas this one's a bit heavier um because it's got the oud in it, oud, whatever you want to call it, agar wood scent to it, and the white musk, it's quite a heavy scent. She won't mind if I spray a bit into a bottle just to spray it. Let it evaporate a bit because then you tend to, the um, perfume is alcohol that he uses tends to kind of like disappear and you're left with the scent. So when you do put a scent on, don't just smell it straight out once you scrub it, sprayed it on your skin, let it evaporate a bit and then you'll get the actual scent. It's a nice, heavy, not ridiculously heavy. Um, if you've got your kind of light citrusy, summery sort of scents up here and you've got your winter scent, this is kind of around about there. It's got a lovely scent to it, definitely white musk and oud. And 36 quid for a big bottle like that and especially on sale at 18 quid, that is no money at all. And she has said that the two perfumes that she's tried from Barber's Bay, she's just going to continuously use. That once she's used either this one or the Gigi, she's going to get back in touch or get me to message uh, Barber's Bay and get some more scent through. So she's now got two perfumes that she is constantly using. And the ones that she was sort of like using, the big name brand ones, she's actually stopped using because she likes the scent from me. So that is a good testament. And it's nice as well that my wife kind of, rather than me getting the perfume sample for and go, yeah, it smells all right. It's nice to get her kind of opinion on it as well. Because um, it is nice to see, because her scent, everyone's smell is slightly different to the next person's and picks up different notes and everything. She absolutely loves it, as you can see. So she... She loves the perfumes from Barber's Bay. But comes to scoring them both, I'm going to score this out of 20. I'm going to score this 20 out of 20 because um, I haven't encountered a whiskey-centred barn before and the whiskey scent is just right. It's not, ridic it's not sweet at all. It's a very dry scent to it. Smells like whiskey, almost like I said, has a cologne -y sort of scent to it, but definitely the whiskey scent, and it's well made, beautiful, just the right amount of um, beeswax in it. Um, scent wise, it's kind of sitting up there at your normal, regular halfway point. It's not ridiculously blow your head off or ridiculously subtle, it's just in the middle. Nice scent. And for the perfume, um, I'm not scoring this. Actually, believe it or not, I would not particularly know how to score a perfume, even though I have done before. The wife has scored this, and she has scored it 20 out of 20, because she loves it. It's her go-to thing next to the Gigi, and she loves both of them. So the wife has actually scored this review as 20 out of 20. I'd have given it around about the same anyway. Um, 
17, 18, 19 for me because I like the sweeter scents, but she loves the scent of this, so she has actually scored it. And as a woman, she would be buying the perfume and not necessarily me, and she scored it a 20 out of 20. So thank you, Kim, my wife, for giving me the score for that. But I hope you like my review. Thank you guys, like I say, to each and every one out of you there that supported me either on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt or on YouTube. I thank you so much um, for the brands that have kind of helped me out there, supported me, and which I've tried to reciprocate in return and do everything that I can do. Um, but thank you guys. I hope to see you in another video. You take care of yourselves. Thank you. Like I say, links below to Barber's Bay. Have a great day. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on loving each other. Keep on looking after each other. Look forward to seeing you guys, hopefully, in the next episode of The Bearded Berserker. Have a great day and thank you.